Saturday, and it's going to be a busy Saturday. I am just packing up my stuff here, and then I will explain. Good morning. Good morning. So these are my gorgeous flowers. I'm just trying to find a spot to hang them. Ponies are out having breakfast. Sam's got his gas can. If you saw yesterday's video, we are in the process of getting our arena in. So we underestimated the amount of sand that we're gonna need. He's coming back today already and bringing a couple more loads. So we're running to the place because they close at noon to pay for extra loads so that they can continue bringing loads. Hopefully we'll get our arena mostly in today and then we can bring the horses home tomorrow. And then we'll be riding in our arena. So that's the plan, that's what we're gonna do. Also gonna do something really fun with our puppies so stay tuned for that in this vlog. Something that Daisy has never done before. Can you guys guess it? But first coffee, right? Sam, coffee? coffee? Not for me, I don't drink coffee. I do not drink coffee, just very occasionally, like on Mother's Day. <laughs> All right, we're here, Sam's getting coffee, but before we get going on with today's video, I wanted to tell you guys. Thank you. I wanted to tell you guys that you probably don't notice, you probably haven't noticed, maybe some of you guys have noticed, but for the longest time in our videos, I have given attention to negative comments and I stopped that. There was a while, there was a time back last year when I was really struggling with how to handle negative comments, but I feel like I figured it out and I try only to give attention to happiness and positivity because that's what I want in my life and that's what I want to promote and that's what I want to acknowledge and so on Instagram when people randomly say really kind things or say really amazing things I have been trying to follow their pages or I have commented back or I've chatted with people so if you notice me on Instagram suddenly just following you out of the blue, it's not out of the blue. It's because I want to surround myself with positivity and positivity and happiness and kind people. So if I follow you randomly, it's because you did something that was amazing or that you said something that was super kind and I want to know. So I just want to explain why some people are just getting random follows by us on Instagram. A first stop dollar store. I needed to get elastic. Sophie and I fought over my last elastic today. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but for some reason, elastics go missing in our house. Um, anyway, Sophia said I could use her last elastic. It's the one she keeps by her bed every night so she can use it. And she said I could use it. And then she ended up finding me a couple more. So I was able to find elastics. Who knew you'd be able to buy elastics during COVID? You guys know so much. Like, you can't buy underwear or socks, but you can definitely buy elastics. Doesn't make more, much sense to me. I got a pack specifically for Sophie as well. Also got some floaties for the dogs. Some gardening stuff and a chew toy. I should have bought two of these now that I think about it because uh, both of our dogs. Daisy's at the shredding toy stage that Molly was at a, few, at a few months ago. I thought Daisy would really like this, but I should have probably got one for Molly, but they share. They share shredding the toys. And I got some gardening stuff. Anything outside related is open and anything food related is open and anything beauty is related. Anything beauty, like you can buy alcohol, you just can't buy toys. You can buy stuff, makeup, but you just can't buy clothes. You can buy, what else can you, you can buy stuff for your garden, but you can't buy furniture, that kind of stuff, right? So yeah, might not make sense to you. It doesn't make sense to me, but there's a rhyme. There's a method to the madness, I'm sure of it. I don't wanna stay here no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just gotta know some vibe. Striking the wind up post now. Maybe these on my mind. We've taken off with left the ground. You you gotta wonder. Oh, she's gonna get it. Stand that we get one chance, one chance. Wow. You, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I, I, I. It's coming together, you guys. This is already so many loads. He's being a 
attacked by a bug, you guys. Beach day, beach day. Mm -hmm. All right, G Gabby can't get in the car. Nah, I'm a chill here. Are you okay, Gabby? You gonna make it? No, there's two. Two bees? I think two wasps. Huh? There's a water oh. thing, two wasps. I kept dropping that. And my dog shook while I was holding it. Cause I was trying to put the lid on. And then it went everywhere. All right, People so. love me. So which one of those are you gonna have, Gabby? I'm gonna have the red one, obviously. All right, so give the green one to Sophie. We wait, get some wait, water we got, toys. We got a, we got a, These are flowy toys. Pick. All right, let the dog pick. Pull a Sophie. Which one? Oh, she likes red. Huh. All right, so we're headed to the water. This is going to be Daisy's first time in the water. So we brought our water bottle. It'll be the first time that Daisy has ever had a chance. Like you guys know, we got Daisy uh, at the end of at the end of summer. So quarantine was kind of ending. We didn't get a chance to do much with her. So this is going to be her first experience with the water. I also thought ahead and brought all the things we're going to need. I brought a net. You can't see it, but back there is a net. It's going to be very I, easy. My teeth are also very sharp, apparently, that mm. you could just bite it. Can you take mine off? I got to find our keys. Anyways, I brought a net so that we can scoop the toys out of the water and so we won't have to go in. We're here and we're all excited. Gabby, do you think your dog's just going to go running and go right into the water because she no. went so many times last year? No, she won't. You don't think she will? She likes to chase a toy in. She likes to chase a toy in. So what do you think is going to happen? I think my dog's going to run back to the car because she doesn't like water. You don't think she's going to like the water? She hates baths. Just my dog does too. Alright, we're here. Just like throw it. I hate this because I was swimming there really close to the edge because it drops off. Look, your duck's in the water. She's waiting. Because it drops off right away and I freaking kicked a fish. <laughs> <laughs> it was the scariest thing. Gabby was terrified of this water because there's fish. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Daisy's king! Daisy! <laughs> She's a fitness guided. Sophie, you need to train her a bit better. <laughs> She's like, oh. You know, people pee in the water. Well, Daisy's a secret peer. <laughs> Get it, Molly. Uh-oh. I brought a net, but I don't think it's that deep. Let her go, Sophie. Just leave the leash on her. Yeah. Yep. Throw your toy a little. Not so far. It doesn't even drop off. Uh oh. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> drop your toy. Drop Go it. girl. Go over there. <laughs> Go pet her. Go girl. No, don't throw it so deep. It's giving me heart palpitations. <laughs> Gabby. Yeah. So you guys might remember we they Molly didn't take to the water that way that fast. Just drop like... it, drop it. <laughs> Gabby's like, don't get me wet. She does not like the drop off though. She prefers right here where it goes slowly. Molly Daisy's like, I don't care about the toys. This is all new and exciting. Let her go. Let her go. Let her, her. let her go if she wants to go okay, next time. Go in and 
Dalmatians are supposed One ear down, that's her thing. Good job, Molly. She's going. Good job. She's getting used to it. She understands. Still Molly's toy. <laughs> Molly doesn't like her. Remember when Houston used to do that? Drop it. Compared to other dogs, you think she's a water dog? I think she's. I think Molly was way more afraid than Daisy was. I think Daisy will get used Daisy to it. Daisy jumps in and she's like, "Oh, what is this? I can't touch the ground anymore." Do you remember Houston, Kaylee's puppy? Gabby and her friend Kaylee, her best friend Kaylee, got puppies at the same time. He would do that hop thing Daisy was doing. Come on, it's fun, isn't it? It's fun. Where's the ledge that we jumped from? Over there. First one in the water this season. Crazy Sophie. It's cold. It's cold. Get in the car. Daisy's like, I'm never going home. <laughs> Poor girl. Grab a towel. Dry them off. Here. Here, Daisy. Have a pink towel. Dry her off there. So. Molly's almost completely dry. And Molly looks wet. All right. So do you think your dog remembered the beach? Did it remember the water? Yes. Yeah. Do you think she still loves it? Yes, but yeah. she doesn't love going in it normally. She just likes the toy. Yeah, she doesn't just run in it. All right, how do you think your dog did? Uh, she did okay for her first time. <laughs> for her first time, we just wanted her to get used to it and experiment it. She didn't even it. want to get back in the car. Yeah, she's like, I'm not going home. I'm, I'm staying here forever. Like, that's so good, Daisy. You were so good. Oh Molly, of course, is always good, so that doesn't surprise me. But that was impressive. I think that... Who, I who do you think did part. better first times? In the water, uh, Molly or Daisy? Molly. Molly. You think so? We gotta watch the Molly video back. And run away. I feel like Daisy liked it better. I feel like Daisy was confused because she would just be running in the water and it would just drop off. Yeah, like the, it just was confusing to her, but she's getting really good at, at figuring things out. I think I remember Molly's first time going to the quarry. Remember we put her in the it pool? Was in Houston. Remember we put her in the pool the first few times and she hated it? Alright, we're trapped in the car. Gabby's friends, the bees, are here. 
I'm not trapped. All right, I dare you to get out. All right. There she goes, you guys. <laughs> you letting my dog out, though. Nope, you gotta get your dog. Oh, okay. Come on, Molly. <laughs> Sophie's already been out there getting Willow on the on the footing and she was shocked. Poor Willow. Hey, it's lunchtime for the girls. Time for the girls to eat. Everybody's gone besides Penny. And she gets she's a little angry. Get angry? She's a little anxious. She's like, get me on the grass. I'm trying to train her so that she when I say do you want to go on the grass, she knows where we're going. Going on the grass, Pen? They've come to get excited about lunchtime. I'm excited for the time that I can put them out here. Oh, Let me have it. So you guys know that we really watch our ponies weight. Oh, she's running from me. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Sometimes I think Gracie's mad. I think Willow's mad too. Don't you run. No running. See, she listens. She's such a good girl. Anyway, um, I'm watching their weight like a hawk, putting them out here every day. And they're they're doing it, you guys. We're doing it. Like, we're keeping their weight. Oh, don't run. Don't run. She's like, yes! <laughs> I can't wait till the time when they're out on the grass all the time. I'm really happy with how it's working now. I love our girls. Don't you know that you're beautiful?